I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, this is Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. I welcome you to our today's devotion. And we have been uh, uh, sharing on knowing Jesus. And uh, we are on the fourth episode, and it is on Deliverer. First Thessalonians 1 six to ten i'm reading from english standard version and you became imitators of us and of the lord for you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the holy spirit so that you became an example to all the believers in macedonia and in achaia for not only has the word of the lord sounded forth from you in macedonia and achaia but your faith in God has gone forth everywhere, so that we need not say anything. For they themselves report concerning us the kind of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers as from the wrath to come what a joy to know that um, the Lord Jesus is our deliverer and uh, what happens is that uh, he has come forth and uh, he has given us faith and through the joy of the Holy Spirit we are we, we have become an example to everyone that is alive everyone that is watching all of us that are born again that have been delivered from the wrath that is ahead of us there we have been set free and um let me tell you you would never escape the issue of the wrath of god if you are not going to escape it right now and the best time to do it is now by acknowledging that jesus is the son of God that was sent so that he can stand in your place where you are supposed to be punished, where you are supposed to um, to go to, to, to be condemned, where you are supposed even to be crucified because you know what um, the wages of sin, the Bible says, is death. And so the Lord Jesus came so that you don't have to face death but you can face life and face life in abundance. And one of the things that you're going to do is to escape the wrath of God because the wrath of God is going to be there. The one that is going to be released upon the people who have refused to allow him to become Lord over their lives, allowing Jesus to become their savior. And, uh, what we need to do when we receive Jesus, may we be like these believers that um, we, we are told they became such a great example in Macedonia and Achaia. That is in the in the in Greece, and we are told that um, the word of God that um, they ministered and their lifestyle it caused many to turn to God, many to turn from idols many from uh, turning from serving of idols. And where were they turning to? They were turning to the living and true God. Many people, they do not know where to go when they turn away from idols. There's many are tired. I want to let you know that many people are tired. They are tired of the enemy, serving the enemy. They are tired of being pushed here and there by the enemy. They are tired of working and even serving him without pay because you know that the wages of sin is death. They are tired, but some of them, they do not know if they turn away, where are they turning to? That is why we need to preach the word of God in season and out of season without fear. We preach the word of God with boldness so that many will hear and those ones who are in the valley of decision, they'll be able to make up their mind and decide for Christ. For this is the new season where we can turn from that kind of life that does not glorify God and enter into this life like the believers that were in Greece, how when they received Christ, 
they became imitators of God and they served God and uh, they became even generous in receiving others, giving them great reception. Can we be like that way? We turn away from the evil one so that we can be, have the qualities that the Lord wants us to have. In Isaiah 62 verse 11, Behold, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the earth, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your salvation comes. Behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. So the Lord has a reward for each and everyone that has accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior and allowed Jesus to deliver them from the wrath of God. Because you get delivered from the wrath of God by salvation, accepting Jesus. As our Lord and our Savior. Romans 5 7 to 9. For one will hardly die for a righteous person, though perhaps for the good person someone would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. You need to allow Christ to justify you by his blood. It is only the blood of Jesus Christ that is going to justify us. It doesn't matter how you try to justify yourself, maybe telling us because your parents are religious and even your grandparents were religious, that you automatically become one. You have to work out your salvations alone. You have to walk walk in the ways of the Lord by yourself because the Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And therefore, you're not going to rely on other people's faith. You are going to stand alone on your faith, on your knees, on your two feet alone and proclaim that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the only one who can justify you with his blood. Just pouring his blood, he justified us, those ones who believed and accepted him as our Lord and Savior. May you try to escape wrath today by accepting Christ and not only accepting him, but living for him every day. First Thessalonians 5, 8 to 9 from New American Standard Bible. But since we are all of the day, Let's be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has uh, has not destined us for wrath, but he for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, Christ becomes our deliverer, delivering us from wrath. Christ does not allow us to have this kind of destination that are being destined for wrath. That is why he's telling us that we have to live as people of day. We have to be sober, alert in the spirit. We have to be awake and put on the breastplate of faith. You make sure you have faith, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you also have to love. And you also have to put on the helmet and the hope of salvation. May you enter into that new season of enjoying salvation, enjoying the deliverance, of, deliverer, the, our Lord who is our deliverer, to take us to that new level. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13, from New American Standard Bible, but you shall, you should always give thanks to God for, um, but we should always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, beloved by the Lord. Because God has chosen you from the beginning for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and faith in the truth. Know that the Lord has chosen you, set you apart. He doesn't want you to enter into his wrath by not accepting the Lord. But he has called us so that and even chosen us from the beginning so that we we have salvation, we are sanctified by his spirit and faith in the truth, believing in the truth. And who is the truth? It is our Lord Jesus Christ. 
when we know him and receive him and accept him and desire to obey him and walk in his ways, then you know what when we have faith in his truth, then we are going to live right and live well and enjoy our life here on earth and enjoy it even thereafter because we shall live with him all the days, forever and ever. May the Lord bless you for now as you purpose and choose to walk in God's ways and even allowing the deliverer to take his position. Father, in Jesus' name, I want to thank you for giving us yet another wonderful time where we are learning about knowing Jesus. And on this fourth episode on Deliverer, we are believing that Christ Jesus, who was given, who gave his life for us, so that we can be delivered from the wrath of God, that will not only just be saved for today, but saved for eternity, live a life that will glorify you, our Lord, for you have told us that this kind of life is even rewarded here on earth before we enter into that place where we will live with you in eternity. We thank you and we honor you for giving us this wonderful moment where we can fellowship and even share more and get deeper into the things of God. Bless each and everyone that is listening. I speak a special anointing upon each one of them that whatever they are seeking, whatever they are going through, that Lord, you be with them, you deliver them, you rescue them, and you allow them to enter into a new season. We thank you and we give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Log into our website at www.agracem.org. Partner with us, please, and even support this work. At the same time, I also ask you to follow us on Facebook and, Twitter and Instagram, Twitter, and even YouTube, asking you to even like and subscribe at Bishop Dr. Grace Kariuki. And the Lord is going to bless you as you continue to honor the Lord with your life. Be blessed for now. Shalom. Shalom.